It is quite blustery out there, and boy, what a difference just 24 hours has made. Yesterday at this time, we were well into the 60s, and right now, while it is 46 degrees outside, it only feels like it's 38, and here's why. Winds are out of the northwest. Right now, sustained winds are clocking in at 22 miles an hour. Wind gusts are closer to 30 miles an hour, and we stay put there through the afternoon. By the evening, though, these winds do begin to drop off, and they should ease all together as we wrap up our Friday night. It's going to be a cold one, so you certainly need to dress accordingly. 25 degrees here tonight, clear, calm, and cold. Winds out of the north ranging this time between 5 and 10 miles an hour. We're dry for tonight, but by tomorrow, a weak disturbance begins to move its way through the region. We're going to notice an increase in cloud cover. This happens late tomorrow afternoon or late morning, I should say. Here's 1130 in the morning, and you can see here a very thin line of snow showers setting up shop out towards our north and western suburbs. Can't completely rule out a few snow squalls right out of this. This will move right on through. It'll be a quick mover. I don't suspect we'll see it along the I-95, but points north and west, it is fair game. And then we are drier for the weekend. A quick peek at our temperature trend because it's going to be cold this weekend. Temperatures in the middle 40s on Saturday. Low 40s by Sunday and then another warm up on the way with temperatures soaring well into the 60s flirting with 70 as we kick off Wednesday afternoon and this is what the seven day looks like as I mentioned today it's been cold all, all pretty all morning and into the afternoon and that'll be the case by tonight just bundle up if you have any plans the weekend's going to be cold as well brighter for Sunday less wind on Sunday but also cooler and then we are soaring back into the 60s Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. By Thursday of next week, we are right back down into the 40s. And with that, we'll be right back.